Welcome to the Music Reel. I'm your host, Nicola Burton. I have two pushy boys with me, Manny and Michael. And Howdy. today's very special guest is Mr. John Gambaro. Now, we're speaking with people all over the world in events and hospitality and music industries. Now, Gambaro's is renowned for being the five-star of, of everything in Queensland and they're instrumental mainly in their contribution to the charity uh, dollars that they've been raising over the last three decades. They founded the iconic Caxton Street Festival and they're a highlight of the Queensland tourism industry with everything that they do. So, John, thank you so much for joining us today. It's really great to see you. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, I really appreciate it. Well, we wanted to see, first of all, see how Gambaro's, how you're doing in this lockdown. You know, it, it, it's, it's been difficult, and not just for us, but for everyone in hospitality and, and, and other sectors. But I think the most important thing was, was not to bury your head in the sand and, and see if there's any opportunities, not just opportunities of how we pivot uh, and change our business, but at the same time, too, how do we keep our staff? So what sort of things did you actually have to do in order to continue? Because I know you guys have set up Gambaros to go. So what were the measures that you had to take? Well, well when, when you look at our business, as you know, we had a five-star boutique hotel. We had four restaurants, functions, and as bars. So we were one of those sectors that got hit really hard. So whatever we did was, was going to be um, a major change and a shift. But what we thought we'd do uh, very, very quickly was um, – organized Gambara to go which is our click and collect service and, and by doing that it allowed us to stay in touch with not just our customers but allowed us to stay in touch and keep our staff upskilled yes um, we were very well supported by um lots of people and again what it showed us is that the community got behind us and, and gave us all their support so important so important because you guys are such a feature of this neighborhood the Caxton street entertainment precinct is nothing without Gambara. so it's been important that you stayed connected Manny, you've got a question for John. Yeah, Johnny, mate, you're looking good and relaxed, uh, as always. And great to hear that you know, Gambaro's is innovating and it's pivoting as well. I guess we're in the same situation as well. At, you know, as you know, we're in music management, event management, and our industry's you know, also been like, affected profoundly. So we've had to pivot as well. We've had to come into the digital space, so to speak, and, you know, we've enjoyed the outcome of what we've achieved there. Where do you see in terms of that wonderful digital space that's out there? There's a lot of noise and there's a lot of happenings. Do you see Gambaro's moving into a digital platform to promote what you're doing in the future, so to speak? You know, Manny, I was just speaking to someone the other day and we go back a couple of um, decades now. So we used to place an ad in the paper would see the instant spike <laughs> in customers. Yeah. But now, now there's so many different platforms. And I, I think you've got to be a part of a lot of different platforms and try and target a whole variety of markets. So we will definitely uh, engage all types of, of marketing, whether it's digital, Facebook, Instagram, uh, print, radio, television. I think you've just got to be across everything just so you're reaching everyone. Absolutely. 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 100%. Yeah. Michael. Absolutely. Yeah, hey, hey, John, uh, just looking at, you know, Caxton Street in general, such an iconic street, um, you know, in Brisbane, how, it, obviously it's, it's been affected so greatly for all of your businesses. What, what are all the businesses in Caxton Street sort of doing at the moment? Are you guys sort of banding together? Obviously Caxton Street's open now. Um, tell us a little bit maybe about how Caxton Street is, is going. Well, I, well, I think you've got to put it in perspective, you know, this is something that no one expected, and that's COVID-19. Uh, traditionally, year upon year, upon year, upon year, is that our business is um, really excited by what happens down at Suncorp Stadium, the old main park. And to turn that sort of business off overnight dramatically affects you. And at the same time, too, um, during this stage, it's been difficult for small operators to operate. There's been some venues that have operated, continue with takeaways, boutique bottle shops. But there again, uh, it's been really hard to come together purely based on different operations. Uh, a bar is very different to a restaurant. So as we move forward and get more clarity uh, with the government and restrictions open, and obviously Suncorp potentially coming back, you know, and again, I don't know the time, but you'd have to hope it comes back. 
um, that we um, will get together and start to, to market as a group and maybe bring back another festival once crowds are permitted. Exactly. And uh, John, I think when I think of you guys, I think you bring people together. You bring them together, you raise money for charity. That is the hallmark of what you do. So I'd like to encourage everyone to make sure you check out what Gambaros are doing. Um, go back there. It's, it's the best place to go in Caxton Street. And, John, thank you so much for talking to us today. We wish you the best in recovery and reimagining what this industry is going to be like in the next couple of months. Thank you so much for talking to us. Take care. Uh, thank you and have a, have a great day. And if we all work together, we'll get somewhere, but small steps. Exactly. Thanks, John. Yep. Cheers.